I think you've got to have a passion for what you're doing, and um, and I enjoy it. I enjoy the quickness of the the way the ships move and the, and the seas moving and the, and the changing elements. You see things you don't see in photographs. Things aren't flat and, and, and rigid and, and they're dynamic, I suppose. Um, and there's lots of different changing elements. Uh, the, the weather certainly affects things and the, and the way you look at the ships, if it was a really overcast day or something and they're just a, a big blob of a ship on the water and you've got a bit of smoke puffing out, it can be quite incredible. Painting is a constant thing you do and when you have an exhibition, it's, you suddenly stop, evaluate where you're at and you take pictures out for your exhibition. One year I exhibit up in Sydney and um, every second year in Melbourne and for each show I, I paint um, predominantly the sea in, in Melbourne, that's Victoria, that's Port Phillip Bay. I've done a lot of work uh, all around the bay, um, Queens, Cliff, I've done some work down there and Arthur Seat, all different perspectives. Every year I try and do better than what I've done previously and your, and your art develops all the time. Initially I'd be happy with a picture with one or two layers of paint on it, but now I look at it and I see it can be pushed further and, and to a point where, as I said, uh, to a point of being resolved. And that, for me, is a process of like doing lots of layers of paint that doesn't always work. Sometimes you can overwork a picture. Um, if, if you do well, scrape it back maybe and start again or continue to work over the top of it. There is a point, you get to a point in a painting when you say, right, that's, that's it, it's, it's fine, it's worked. But for me now, that used to be quantity in my earlier days. I used to do a lot more with less paint and now it seems to be less less paintings of a, of a more resolved, higher quality that are built up over a period of time. And I, I like, as a painter, I like to be working on five or six paintings at once or 10 or whatever I've got going at once. There's no particular rules about whether I paint wet on wet or dry on dry, it all depends what's happening at the time. It's actually better to be painting wet on wet as opposed to on a dry surface because when, when you paint on it, when I paint on a dry, over a dry picture, invariably you end up repainting the whole picture because it just to get it all working together, you need to do it. So, if you've got a wet paint underneath, I find it better if you, you, you build it up with a wet paint underneath. It brings more texture into it. In my last show in Sydney, I had a, had a studio in, down in the rocks in Sydney, and that was great. And similar to here, I had a, had a working space away from from my home environment, and I was different view, a different place to paint from, it kind of reinvigorated me. When you go travelling to do your painting in Sydney or Port Campbell, where I do printmaking for a week at a time, you don't have any other distractions and you're just concentrating on doing what you're doing and you dive into it. Same with down in Sorrento, I'd go down and set up the boat shed and just get stuck into it. But when you're back at home, you've got other things that are just as important as the artwork. So that's why it's good to have these residencies and these sabbaticals so you can, um, you can you know, concentrate on your art. Down, when you work down at Sorrento, or even in Melbourne, down in St Kilda, you're looking, where I set myself up, I'm looking out into the sea, and in Melbourne especially, there's not much going on apart from a horizon line, and, 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 a, and a, maybe a few markers, um, perhaps a few ships, and you can see a bird, for example, I do paint some birds occasionally, but predominantly, yeah, it's ships, it's ships with the sea and the sky, um, and there's not much else going on when you're looking out there. Down in Sorrento, you might have the, the land mass in the background, but apart from that and a few little vessels around, that's basically what you're looking at. So I, I tend to take things back to their basic form, basic structures when I'm working in those places. But now, working up here in my turret, there's a lot more going on, there's a lot more distractions. There's, you're looking down in the buildings, you're looking down in all the vast array of things. Saying that, you've got to actually cut things out, you've got to edit, you've, you've got to find things that, that you enjoy painting and concentrate on those rather than doing the whole lot. It's impossible to paint the whole lot. Uh, I did a painting just the other day of um, Albert Park Lake, but as much as I enjoy painting the sea, the sky and, and the ships alone, which I will keep going back to when I went down to Sorrento, even down at St Kilda Marina, wherever I'm going to be doing it, I think it's good to be doing um, concentrating on just doing some other things, just to develop yourself a little bit more and, and be aware that you can, actually, you can actually paint these other things quite successfully.
I'm working on a book at the, at the moment, this sketchbook I'm developing with a friend, developing with a friend of mine, um, based on this um, this old sketch, St Kilda sketchbook I found at home. Um, I'm using that as a guide, and I had the had an idea with a friend who's, who's a writer, and I put a proposal to him that I'll I'll do the the draw do the drawings and the and the paintings and the artwork, and uh, he'll do the do the um, do the text. It's only in its infancy at the moment, but it's all based on St Kilda all around where I live. Uh, so having this access to this studio at the George means I can I can work around there doing as well as working on what I enjoy working on the ships and the sea and etc. Because I get the view, great view from here. I can also be working on uh, this little project on the side, and something may develop from that. And I think it's quite an exciting little, little thing to do as well. Um, to go back to the drawing, do lots of black and white drawings. Um, so now I can I can push it a bit further, and, and incorporate paintings and, and uh, drawings and, and other bits of artwork in as well. So it doesn't have to be just black and white drawings like the original book was.